right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's vlog. If you're not already subscribing, be sure to hit that like, subscribe. You can comment on it if you like. To let me know what you like and what you don't like about the video. And um, if you do like it, after you hit that like button, be sure to share it with a friend. You know, the more eyes that I have on here, the more I can do for, you know, this platform. Um, but again, yeah, welcome to today's vlog. Right, today we're gonna be doing back. Um, there's, with, as far as, geez, I gotta find some way to pop this thing up. As far as, um, as far as I'm concerned, my upper back is a weak area. Um, when it comes to my body, I feel like my lower back is a little bit more developed than my upper back is. So my goal is to bring out, you know, my upper back more detail, more muscle, more size, everything, everything bigger in my upper back. Um, so we're gonna keep it. We're gonna we're gonna lift moderately heavy today, um, and then also get a little bit of mixture of, you know, a little bit of uh, cardiovascular work in as well. Probably towards the end, I think. Um, but yeah, stay with me. Peace. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna do some light warm up. I'm gonna do um, some foam roller today. We're gonna get into our lower posterior chain a little bit. If you don't know what the lower posterior chain is, that those are the muscles that are connected and, and intertwined, and they run down from your lower back through your glutes, through your hamstrings, through your calves. So I like to get these nice and warm. I know I'm not doing any legs, but what happens sometimes is, is when your hamstrings or calves or glutes are a little tight, it can pull on your lower back and cause a little tension. So I'm gonna get into these nice and good, get them nice and loose and warmed up so that when I'm starting my uh, my workout, it doesn't bother me too much. I'm also gonna use a Theragun too, just to get any leftover knots from maybe a previous workout or just the daily uh, exercise that I do. This this also helps as well as to loosen up the muscles. If you have a sore, if you, ever, if you ever feel tight, I would definitely recommend using this, um, this tool just to help with that. Okay, let's get into it. So first up we have reverse cable flies. I like to do these at a high angle just because for me personally, it, it hits my rear delts very, very nicely, as well as giving me a little bit of lack activation because of the angle. So that's why I love to do them at this angle here. Next up we have barbell rolls and if you don't know, now you know. Barbell rolls are probably one of the best back exercises you can do, those in pull-ups. But for this video, we're gonna leave the pull-ups out and just do the barbell rolls. Make sure when you're doing these, start off a little lighter because of the positioning that your body will be in. It can definitely be a little load on your lower back if you aren't using cor uh, correct or proper form. So I would start off lighter especially if you're inexperienced, just to make sure that you don't have any issues with your lower back and then you can increase the weight as needed. Okay, so here you can see me raise up a little bit as I'm doing the rows. What's happening is, is because the weight is so heavy, I need a little bit of a spot. And because I don't have a spotter here, that's my way of kind of getting a little bit of cheating in with the reps. It's okay to do it as long as you're not overly reliant upon it. Just make sure you're getting the full and entire squeeze. That is the most important part of this exercise. All right, next up we have chest supported dumbbell rows. These are actually some of my favorite rolls to do um, only because you're able to kind of control the angle at which you're you're doing them here. You see, I have a I'm pulling at a lower angle, which is hitting a little lower in the lats, whereas the barbell rolls that I did prior to this were hitting more so mid and upper back. 
Um, also, it helps to take off a lot of the load that would be on your lower back if you did the standing. And for those that have back problems, this would be an ideal exercise for you. All right, next up we have cable pull downs. Now, traditionally, you would do these facing the weight. My version of them in this exercise is doing them in a reverse manner while laying down. The reason for this is, is because it kind of turns this exercise into a row as opposed to doing your traditional pull down, which hits your lats. This is going to hit a lot of mid back. lat pull downs let's talk about it this is probably my absolute favorite back exercise or slash movement um it hits so many different muscles in your back your rhomboids your rear delts your lats your traps it even touches your arms a little bit within your triceps depending on how you do them these are absolutely my favorite just make sure that the weight is moderate. Again, because you are still in a leaned over position and it, the weight is pulling you, you don't want too much pressure on your lower back. Hinge at your hip, push your glutes back, drive down to your quads. All right, it's the fourth quarter here. It's the fourth quarter. You know, made it through this workout with me. Thanks for joining me. We have, lastly but not least, sled rolls. Now, like I said, I like to add a little bit of pop to the workout, challenge my cardiovascular system a little bit. So this was a way that I chose to use to still tax my muscles, finish off those back muscles, but also challenge my cardiovascular system. And I don't know if you can tell here, but I am dead tired. I'm like absolutely exhausted from this workout. I would say with this workout, use the method of progressive overload. I know that wasn't always depicted in every single exercise that was shown, but use that method. It's gonna be perfect for you, especially if you're a beginner. If you don't know what that is, that basically means that every set you're adding on some weight. I don't even care if it's five pounds, add the five pounds on every set that you go just to challenge yourself. Man, okay. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, typically I give y'all a talk. I'm so tired, man, after that workout. That workout was a crazy workout. Um, uh, maybe I just do a little checking in. You know, tell you what my mindset is. Um, as I told you, I'm trying to bulk, trying to put on some size, but I also want to um, maintain a level of, of of fitness, of conditioning. So I try to throw in some exercises that uh, that still will challenge my um, respiratory system and cardiovascular system to make sure that I'm, I'm still able to keep up with my uh, conditioning. So. Today was back. We did a lot of uh, a lot of pulling, you know, bar movements. Not really a whole bunch of pull downs, which works our lats. Just because I feel like I'm pretty decent as far as width wise, I want to bring in a lot of more detail and build some muscle in, you know, the middle of my back, the middle portions of my back. So we did a lot of like rowing today. Um, pretty feel pretty good towards the end. I kind of started to gas out, but. Oh, all in all, overall, the workout was good. Uh, I got interrupted at the end, but it was a good interruption. You know, talking about the measure of a man. Uh, it actually, it doesn't have to necessarily be specifically to a man. We, 
you know, I was talking with one of the trainers here at the gym, and he was giving, you know, I mean, he's telling me a story about Shaq and, you know, just basically his generosity. And I know, I know of his generosity. I know how generous he's been over the years. I just didn't know to what extent. Um, so that's what I really aim to be. I really aim to. It's not about fame for me. It's not about having a bunch of money per se. Because let's let's be clear, having money does afford you some things like security, being able to make sure the people that are around you are taken care of, which is what I aim to do. But at the same time, it's also about Im leaving an impact on people when you're gone. Um, being able to, to go buy that struggling family groceries, being able to, you know, put that kid through college that wouldn't be able to go through college if he wasn't able to. So for me, it's bigger than just making money and going to buy nice things and being flashy. I'm not really a flashy person. Um, although I do have a few nice things, I'm not really super flashy. So it's, not, it's more than just that. It's, just being, it's about being a good person and being a good contributor to uh, society and to humanity. So I'm on the go. I, I probably will do maybe about like 10 minutes of cardio on a stair, on a, I say stair rash, I don't know. Maybe 10 minutes of cardio on a treadmill, walk on an incline. Um, and then after that, yeah, I'm going to go have my protein shake and go get a meal in right after the protein shake and then keep going about my day. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button uh, for more content. We're going to be pushing out more content the more. Don't forget to share this with people that you know that may enjoy the content. Um, the more people that I have coming in, the more TV eyes that we have on the channel affords me the ability to expand on what I'm doing and the vlogs and you know, the information that I'm able to share. So, like, subscribe, hit the post notification button so that you know when I post. And, uh, yeah, share with a friend. Thanks for joining. We out.